And the second thing I wanted to say to you is um, you have to respect each other's privacy. I had a client once and it bothered her husband because she always wanted to go through his cell phone. So it was a trust issue. Um, and, and it turned out that he was not doing anything to cause her to feel betrayed. It was something from her past. She brought baggage over from another relationship. That's why relationship uh, coaching is so important. Marriage counseling, so important. Love counseling, so important. Because we have stuff that happened to us prior to us being with the person that we are currently trying to build a life with. And when that stuff pops up, it affects the relationship. It happened in the old relationship, but then you bring it to the new relationship and you wonder why it's not working. You gotta respect each other's privacy. And anything that I need to know, I should be able to talk, which is, is number three. Communication. If something's going on or I feel uncomfortable, I need to be able to say to you, baby, why is this? I feel like, how come? And when those moments take place, then you can honestly say that you have expressed yourself completely. And when you do that, it not only solidifies the respect, it lays the foundation for the privacy. You have the right to say, baby, I can't answer that now. Can I tell you later? Can we talk about this another time? I don't know why. Is that what you think? But if you never open your mouth, those foundations can't be met. They can't be laid. And so you, you spoil the relationship going into the door. And the other thing is, is that not only do you need to respect each other, you need to be willing to compromise. You know, you would say, well, compromise, yeah. You need to be able to compromise to say, okay, well, let's try it this way. Let's try it that way. Because when everything is your way, guess what? 